when you stay with the breath, the important thing is to be as continuous as possible in your gaze. I don't know if you've ever tried sitting in a room and running your gaze across the, say, the ledge of the window or something to see how smooth you can make it. You'll be as surprised to, to notice how many times the, your eyes jump around, your mind jumps around. The same thing happens with the breath. You jump around a little bit and come back to the breath. Jump around a little bit, come back to the breath. And the problem is that many times the things you're jumping around are things that you really want to see, but you don't see them because you're looking someplace else. This is also one of the reasons why we tend to forget something we make up our mind we want to remember, and then it just slips out as soon as we jump away. So try to keep your gaze as steady as possible. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Think of it refining the breath. That way we begin to see things. Because this problem of forgetfulness is why we can't see the connection between cause and effect in our own minds. We do something, and then we jump away, and then we come back, and there are the results. But we can't be really sure the results come from what we did, or do they come from something else. That's a real problem. It's because of that problem that people do so many foolish things in the world, because they don't see the connections between their foolish actions and the bad results that are going to come. So try to keep your gaze steady. Then you start seeing things in the mind, these little cracks in the mind that you always would jump over. Well, now you look into them and you see there are lots of interesting things coming out of the cracks. That's where insight comes. That's what it comes from, is being as continuous as you can in your gaze. <laughs>